This is Brad Bielan, uh, morning having breakfast with you. I want to talk to you today about the myth of 500 calories. You know that simple myth of all you have to do is reduce how much you eat by 500 calories a day and you lose a pound a week. Or all you have to do is do 500 calories worth of exercise every day and you lose a pound a week. Unfortunately, there's a big giant flaw in this math. And so you're gonna have to roll with me a bit here. I need you to imagine that your total daily energy expenditure is 2,000 calories. So your basal metabolic rate, combined with how much you're moving around, combined with everything else, the amount of calories that your body consumes in a day is 2,000. Now I want you to imagine that you've been eating 5,000 calories a day. And so you, you know, you've been stressy at work and, and you're just going through a rough spell and you're just, you're overeating a fair bit. So you're eating at 5,000 and you're burning at 2,000. Guess what? If you cut your calorie intake down by 500 calories, you're still overeating. You're not gaining weight as fast, as quickly, but you're still gaining. See, there's the giant myth. You're at 2,000, you're at 5,000, you cut your calories down by 500, you throw in 1,000 calories a day of exercise, you're still gaining, just not as quickly. To lose weight, you have to be 500 calories below what you burn in a day. So if it's 2,000, and again, just hypothetical numbers and make for easy math, you have to be eating at around 1,500. See, the idea that just, you know, 5,000 calories is what it takes to maintain my large body at the weight is now is actually a bit of a myth. You're still gaining. If it's over the amount of calories you need in a day, the amount of calories you're burning off, you're gaining. And that's why so many people who are overeating or overweight are frustrated with dieting because they need to be here and they follow rigorous diet plans and super strict exercise programs and they get to here, maybe to here. So yeah, they might see a little bit of water weight loss from the extra exercise and maybe that extra little bit of trying to eat healthy, maybe they shed some inflammation and drop some water there, but really, they're still gaining. Slowly, but still gaining. You have to be below the amount of calories you're burning in a day. Just dropping your calories by 500 calories a day or just exercising an extra 500 calories worth of exercise a day does not work for weight loss. Unless, by some odd way, you were at, you know, you're supposed to be at 2,000 and you've been at 2,300, you're almost there, then that 500 calories would work. But, if you're above and significantly above, unfortunately, it takes more drastic steps to lose weight. It's not just a simple, I'll cut out a cup of coffee and an apple. Now, if you get down to here, you're almost there, that's awesome. That's when just cutting out some coffee, cutting out you know, an extra snack, maybe dropping them out of snack and do it at night, all that will work. But if you're up here, it's no go. You have to get down. So that's the myth of just eating 500 less calories per day for weight loss. That's why so many people get confused. That's why so many people start looking for answers other than calories. Because I dropped my calories by 500, it didn't work. My metabolism must be broken. I must be carb sensitive. I must be something. When in reality, what it was was I must be still eating too much. All right, Brad Pilon for the myth of 500 calories per day.